All right, we're calling this Cloud Vision Telemetry and Extensibility. My name is Dan Hertzberg. I'm a TME with Arista Networks. So we're going to talk about a lot of the data that was streamed into CVP, how to get that action off the box. So everything that Paul and Ryan both showed for things like interface statistics, things like BGP, things like neighborships and, and so forth, how do you take that data and actually extend it and send it off the box to popular monitoring tools like things like Prometheus and things like Telegraph and Flux and so forth? This is going to be heavily focused on more or less DevOps tooling and uh, GNMI and both OpenConfig. And GNMI and OpenConfig are very, very, very uh, dense topics. We could probably spend you know, a whole tech fill day talking about just exactly that. So there's a link within this slide that talks about our open management web page. And that's off our Arista Networks GitHub page. You can kind of go there and grab a lot of information about how uh, OpenConfig works, GNMI, and, and so forth, because it is a very interesting topic. Uh, I think everyone wants to remove SNMP within their networks. So it'll help you out a lot there. So focus back to gRPC and GNMI and OpenConfig. So we've had this on EOS forever. The idea is that you would have an interface. That interface is an API, which is called GNMI. And that interface or API allows for an end user, a network operator, to quickly stream all the data off the switch. And that, some of that data effectively would be things like interface counters, BGP neighbors, free memory and so forth. And we've had that for quite some time. That's nothing new to us, taking data and streaming it from our NetDB platform. And the way this works is it works through a streaming RPC called GNMI as the service. And the actual data that comes back to the client is OpenConfig Yang models. So that's why you're going to hear a lot of the terminology with uh, Yang and OpenConfig within this presentation. So just a quick example of GNMI for those who are kind of new to it, because some are into that field. The client's going to send the streaming request. And nowadays, we have a plethora of clients. So you have things like Telegraph, things like GNMIC, or just code that clients write. The streaming request is going to have data within it. It's going to say, I want to have all the interface statistics. Please stream me the interface statistics. The API in the switch is going to receive that. It's going to process it. And as quickly as it gets it, it's actually going to send back a streaming response. And that way you can stream back pretty much anything and everything off the switch that lives on the switch, which is a very nice feature. So what we did was we took most of that code and pushed it up to CVP. So what you could do now is you can take your current uh, third-party platforms or code or clients, you could just point them directly to the Cloud Vision portal where that code runs. The way this works is uh, pretty creative. So we're streaming with the streaming agent that we talked about previously into CVP currently. But what we can do is take OpenConfig data and kind of piggyback it in there and send it in there as well. So you're getting all the raw state of everything and you're getting OpenConfig Yang format data as well with the raw state. Now what's interesting about this is this is persistent data. So you can see on the slide how I have a Yang tree within there. So if you have a whole fleet of switches, 500 switches, you have 500 Yang trees, for example. The other interesting part, other interesting part is that any client that talks to Cloud Vision Portal talks to Cloud Vision Portal and it persists the data inside of it. It doesn't waste network bandwidth by proxying, let's say, for example. You're talking to one device to get all of your streaming telemetry information. And this opens up an interesting design choice for this sort of thing, because previously to this, I mean, there are some things out in the open like GNMI Gateway and other uh, open source tooling. But prior to that, you were left with kind of taking a client, whether it's Telegraph, which we're going to show a demonstration of today, or GNMIC, and having every single one of the clients go to every single one of the switches, which is kind of cumbersome and you have to build a rather large orchestration system for uh, that sort of thing. So what makes this model really nice is you could have your GNMI clients or your third-party tooling that people are currently using for GNMI and OpenConfig and streaming data and just point it directly at Cloud Vision. You use something what's called the target field. So you can point directly to a address, a IP address, which is just CVP. And we'll show it in a quick demo here after this. And you can stream back all the, all the information in OpenConfig format for every one of your boxes. So here will be the first demo. We're going to show GNMIC, which is a binary. It's a testing binary, if you're familiar with that. It's from the OpenConfig group. And the way this works is it goes out, talks to the Cloud Vision portal, pulls back information off the switches, and then it'll stream it back to the client. We're going to do this for all the interface counters. We're going to do this for memory information. We're going to do this for BGP. 
I'm going to, due to the essence of time here, I'm going to move at a uh, rapid rate. All right. So we can see in Cloud Vision Portal, all our devices how are actively monitoring. So you can see everything is VEOS because this is in our virtual lab environment. And after we do that, we have this really nifty feature called Telemetry Browser. So you can actually pop over to the Telemetry Browser. You can see all the raw state of all your devices. So let's select Spine 1. And once we're inside Spine 1, we can see all the paths. So this is going to be open config paths. This will be raw state paths. This is pretty much everything that's streamed from NetDB. If we select the open config path, we can see everything for open config. Now, it's usually really busy <laughs> uh, of a type of thing is going to be interface counters because those are always going on. So we're going to look at that for the state for management one. Now, the interesting, interesting part is when we click on this, we're actually going to see this update in real time. So we could see within the telemetry browser, this will update going back to the user and telling them this is actually working. And this is a book of fake yang format. Now, so far, we're just kind of looking around, cruising around inside Cloud Vision. But if we go off the box and into, let's say, a testing device that runs GNMIC, we can select the address of Cloud Vision Portal, which is that 10 dot address. We can subscribe to it. We can select our open config path. Now, this is just talking directly to CVP and just going to the open config path with a target field. And also, too, we don't have to provide a username and password. This is totally secure because we're using a JSON web token. Uh, not viewed on my screen, but there is a, a file in there called talk.talk, .talk, which consists, consists of a JSON web token for a service account. And once hit the Enter button, we're going to see the stream back to the user as quickly as I ask for it. And we're talking just to CVP, for example. We can see here we have a target field, which is DC1 spine one. And just some other tests, for example, just you know, so we could do other things like memory. We could see here, for example, there's 500 uh, megs of memory being used currently with four gigs of memory. And also two things like BGP. So you can kind of stream a lot of things off the box. So once we stream this, we'll get most of the BGP information like neighbors, routes, sent prefixes, uh, receive prefixes and so forth. But keep in mind, we're talking directly to CloudVision portal. We are not talking to a switch directly. So we can get to talk to CloudVision for pretty much everything to take it off box. And I'll move on to the next demo just to the end of the time. We're able to take this and, and make this into a telegraph input. So we can actually take all the data that exists within CloudVision and push that back into things like InfluxDB, push that back into things like Prometheus and so forth so that you can stream everything that's off the box and inside into your own local monitoring tools. Play this at uh, two times speed. All right, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna run Telegraph at first, and we're gonna look at our sample.com file, which is gonna have all the data within it, like what we care about, what we want to interested in monitoring and so forth. And I'll go through the demo here in a second. It'll connect to CloudVision, and it'll say it has X amount of devices, which is targeting. This is our Arista Cloud Test Portal. We could take mostly what your network looks like today and kind of run it within our, our provider within the cloud. So you can kind of demo, mock up networks and so forth. This is the actual integration piece. So it's in our public Arista Networks GitHub repo, where you can go pull this down and, and see how this works. If you have Telegraph, you can look at a sample output and so forth. And just to show this is the same CVP we showed previously um, to see all the devices. And after this, we're going to take a look at the telegraph.com file to see what it looks like. We can see here we have the address of CloudVision Portal, and then we have a secure JSON web token. This could be obviously an environmental variable if you would like. It doesn't have to be in the wild as a string. And also, too, we have the inputs we care about. So if we want to pull all the interface counters for every single platform we want to do, we could do that. And then if we want to get all the memory state for memory state, and then if we want to pull all the information of BGP neighbors, we can do all that as well. And the sample the comp file has the InfluxDB method we're going to, the VM we're using, and then we're going to use this as a Prometheus exporter as well. So if you want to scrape all these metrics, you have the ability to do that. Taking a look at Influx, as this is going on, uh, the new Influx query language is awesome if anyone's used this with a FluxQL. We can go in and select our metrics within our database, take a look at it, and we'll see the actual memory that's being used. And this is a steady state, like this will change over time. But we can see there's three and a half gigs of uh, free memory. And if we pop over the Grafana dashboard, which these are all publicly available within the repo, we can see all the in-out unicast packets. We can see free memory if we select different devices. 
we can see it's all kind of there. So this is the actual data that lives within CVP exposed to us open config. And this is another test dashboard, uh, BGP. So you can see prefix assigned, prefix is received, AS numbers and so forth. There's a lot more data we can get, but these are the ones I found to be the most useful. And just lastly, we show off the Prometheus exporter portion. So with that, Prometheus is involved in this too because it is Telegraph. So everything with Prometheus, you could scrape this instance for it. So things like memory, things like packets, um, statistics and so forth, everything that comes out of Cloud Vision with this integration piece, we could do that as well. So our end, our end goal here is to take most things that come out of the box, out of the CVP, and push them into different platforms if you have availability. And the nice thing too is it's in OpenConfig and GNMI, which are pretty much open standards. So those data will, that type of data will work with other third-party monitoring platform systems.